So here in a new computer art tutorial, we are going to get into creating a space scene using Pixlr. And so we're going to use um, some different images, layering some images of clouds and things like that to kind of create this abstract sort of space scene um, with some planets and stuff that we draw with our tools and paint um, using some gradients and things like that. So lots of different techniques we're going to throw into this scene here. And uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and jump in and get started. So I'm going to talk go back to home here in Pixlr E, going to click Create New. Uh, we will call this uh, project Spacescape, and we'll click Create. And so to get started, just going to zoom back a little bit. We are going to go ahead and fill in our stage with black. So I'm going to take my paint bucket, choose your fill color as black, um, however you need to do that. Mine is already set, so good to go. Going to click in the center, or anywhere in here to fill this in black. Then I'm going to add a filter, and that is going to be noise. So I'm going to add a filter, noise, add noise, and what that's going to do is just kind of create like a gray um, speckling kind of going on to the background. And so it just kind of looks like stars kind of off in the distance. Maybe somewhere around 50 is probably a good level. Don't need them to be too bright, don't. but we want to make sure that we can kind of see them in the background there. So it just gives us a nice little texture to uh, add our layers on top of. So. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to bring in some cloud uh, images. So um, you'll want to have at least like two or three layers of images of clouds. Um, so I'm going to start with this image that I've got here queued up from Google Images. I'm going to go back to Pixar E and then hit Command V to paste. Stretch out this cloud layer so that it goes all the way off the edges and fills in my canvas space. And so, like I said, we'll want two or three of these layers. So uh, you can right click on this image layer and we can do a duplicate layer. You could also duplicate if you click on three dots and get to your duplicate option down here. Um, what we'll want is to then take these layers and do some inverting and changing of the colors. So I'm gonna take this top layer here and you don't have to use the same cloud images that I'm using. You use you could do this with any old image, does not matter. So we're going to make an adjustment here, and I'm going to go down to invert. And what that does is just kind of inverts the colors and turns them into kind of like dark, murky sort of cloud scene, right? So that's kind of what we want because we are in space after all, right? So let's then go to hue saturation and maybe do some further playing with these cloud colors um, with our hue saturation sliders. So maybe I'll take these like a dark bluish purple. Um, you know, you can mess with saturation if you want to kind of make the colors um, brighter or if you want to make them less bright. Um, I'm going to leave it right around where it was, maybe turn it up just a little bit. Lightness, darkness, maybe you want to mess with that too. Maybe we should make them a little bit darker because, again, we are in space. So just a little bit darker, that'll probably be good. All right. Well, looked like that changed something weird. But that's okay. Looks fine to me. So now I'm going to change this base layer. So I'm going to hide this uh, layer on top, and I'm going to change the other layer of clouds now too. So same process. Going to invert the colors first, and then I'm going to go back to adjustment, hue, saturation. And I want these to be a little bit different color tones than I did with my other ones. So maybe I'll turn a hue to green this time. Um, again, maybe lower saturation this time. Maybe lower the darkness just a little bit again because... Like I said, we are in space after all, right? So these cloud images should be kind of dark. All right, so I'm going to make my other uh, layer visible again. So now I have these two layers here, and now I'm going to blend them together by using our blend modes. So if I click on the three dots here, um, I can choose a blend mode from here. Um, the, these, it's all personal preference, really, uh, which ones you want to use. Overlay kind of makes it really dark. I think hard light ended up being a pretty okay one before, but again, I think, you know, you just kind of have to click through. Sometimes some of these are going to really not work out well. That works pretty good. Color dodges is creating a pretty good blend, but I'm actually just realizing I'm on the... Um, I think I'm on the lower layer here, so that's why I'm getting some interesting results. So um, I want to make sure I am probably want to start... Oh, no, I was on the top one. Um, looked like I had the lower image selected, but okay. Anyways, this is looking good. Um, again, the layer styles, you know, blend modes will all be different um, depending on the tones and the clouds and things that you chose. You know, screen, that's looking good because... You want to make sure you change both of the blend styles because you want to blend all the way down so now you can see since I did a blend mode 
for the second layer here, I can see some of that speckling coming through of the black um, dark base tone that I have on my base layer. So um, this looks pretty good. Again, you can spend a while just kind of playing with these blend modes and seeing which kind of works best for what you want to get. Um, the other thing that's kind of fun to do sometimes is maybe um, erase a little bit of this top layer. So I might take like, my eraser tool, um, adjust my brush size so it's really big. Um, just trying to click out this ad here. So um, brush style, to, you know, maybe make it really big, 500, like a fuzzy edge. Um, you know, you could turn the softness up even if you want to turn the softness up. Um, you know, again, size up high. And then just kind of take that brush and you could try to kind of do like some erasing to the layer to kind of show some more. Oops, there's some funny stuff going on right now with the sizing that's happening to my image. I'm not sure why, but I saw it get messed up before. I think we just have sort of little glitch mode action happening here. Um, let's see, what is going on? Okay, so see that? That was strange. It just kind of like popped smaller without me really wanting it to do that. But anyways, so I was trying to, yeah, kind of take my eraser tool and just sort of like erase some of the layer of one uh, layer of clouds just to kind of show through more of the one underneath. You know, you don't necessarily have to do that, but it might be something you might want to play with if you want more of your other cloud color to show through more than the one on top or something like that. So um, anyway, so now on to planets. So going to add in a new empty layer for our planets here. So layer four, I'm going to go to my marquee selection tool and going to choose ellipse style. And so feather should be zero, um, new selection, and I'm just going to hold the shift key. I'm going to click and drag and hold down shift as I click and drag. And that's going to give me a good perfect circle, which I want for my planet. And next I'm going to fill it with a gradient. So I'm going to go over my gradient tool, uh, choose a gradient. I think best to choose one that really goes from like a dark corner to a light corner. And um, if you don't see one you like in these presets, you can always create your own by going clicking on the color um, picker here. Um, and you click on, you know, one of these arrows, click on the color picker here, and you can change, you know, these colors to anything you want. So if you want to go from a color to black, you know, which is really what you want to do. You know, I can choose any color in here and then go from that color with black. Or like I said, you could choose one from anywhere off of here and use these as well. So um, let's try this out. So I'm going to click and drag. Um, do notice that I have the radial gradient option on here. And actually what I do notice is I want this, um, if I'm going to do it this way, yeah, I want the first color um, to actually be the color, the lighter color, and then I want it to go to black. So I can flip flop these around and edit them, even though they're one that I picked as a preset. You can do that with the preset ones, you can do it with your own custom ones too. So I want the first color to be the color and then the other color to be black, so it creates more of a curved sort of shadow going like that along my planet there. Um, so, looks like I'm making a little Mars planet going on here. I'm going to then take my lasso tool and I'm going to do some removals from this uh, selection area to kind of create a texture going on. So I'm going to go to remove from selection option with my lasso, just my regular free lasso. And I'm just going to kind of go in here and kind of just like take some shapes out and just kind of randomly sort of like make some slices and dices um, just so I can kind of like blend another color in here and just kind of make this a little more interesting than just being like this red ball kind of floating in the air. So kind of taking away a bunch of little slices of texture here. And then we're going to actually want to add this on a new layer. I don't know that you have to do this, but this is how I was doing it and it worked out pretty well. So I'm then going to take a different gradient. So new gradient and put it on a new layer and then I'll blend them together. So maybe I'll choose something a little different, have a little fun with this. It'll go with some kind of like a orangey type gradient and just click and drag with that gradient again. Um, and again, you may want to try out different colors, maybe ones that aren't as bright, but you can try out different ways going from one side to the other. But then I'm gonna blend these again. So I'm actually going to choose a layer, uh, 
click the three dots and then I go to blend mode and try out some blend modes here and see if I can get this to kind of not be so bright. Maybe overlay. Yeah, there we go. So it kind of blends in. But the other thing, and it's hard to tell while the selection is still active, is that it gives you those slices of the original gradient. So if I hit Command D, you can see that it has those bits of the original gradient that show through it with the two layers um, there. So once you have those good and you're happy with it, you can blend them together or merge them down. So I'm gonna merge down so that both of these layers are now combined as one. So like if I wanna move my planet somewhere else, you know, I don't have to drag those two layers and kind of like pull them together. The other thing that's kind of fun to do at this point is maybe like blur or smudge. So we can take our blur smudge tool and I can go to smudge. Um, you may want to play with the strength and the size of the brush. This looks like a little small, so I'm going to make the brush size bigger, maybe go to like 150 or something. Um, that looks pretty good. Strength, we'll see. So let's see, you know, so I'm kind of just like pulling on these lines a little bit, just to like smudge, blur them together and sort of have a little fun and give that a little more of a blurred um, softness to it, rather than it being such a like hard edged line. So just kind of like little clicks and drags here, I'm trying to stay inside of my circle because I think if I go outside of the circle, see how it kind of messes with that shape. So you kind of got to make sure you do careful job like staying right inside the edges of your circle there. All right, but anyways, this planet looks pretty good. I think I'm pretty happy with how that one turned out. Um, I'm going to make a second one, but what I'm, all I'm going to do is duplicate it. So I'm going to go to my range tool, my kind of cursor tool. I can click on this and go to uh, right click on it and go to duplicate layer and then I have another one which I'm going to kind of put a little bit smaller so I'm going to drag it to make it smaller kind of put it off in the distance here maybe I'll bring this one down so you could do these in corners you don't have to do them the same exact way that I'm doing them but I'm going to then change and make an adjustment to the hue saturation of this one because I don't want it to be the same uh, I'm going to change it up so that it's a little bit different maybe this one's more of a um, you know, Venus looking tone here with like yellowish golds or something like that off in the distance, right? And I got Mars and Venus kind of here. You know, you can play with rotations. Oops, did I not click? I did not click OK or keep. I think it was off the edge. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that happens sometimes. So I got to move this slider box back into the right place and then click apply. <laughs> there we go. Cool. So now I got kind of like two planets off in the distance here and kind of in front of this nebulous looking cloud scene and really one last thing that I was going to add is sort of like a Milky Way type galaxy sort of line going through the planets and so I'm going to add one more empty layer. I'm going to choose my uh, pen tool and for the variant I was going to go to trail I think but shaded I think is also a good one. Trail I think was the one I was using. Um, I went way up with the size I might have made this the fullest size I could. And then let's choose a color that's sort of bright, I think, is what I want to go with. Um, so maybe I'll go with something like this purplish tone that'll stand out amongst the background here because it's already very blue and green. So I don't really want to do the same size there. And then just kind of going back and forth with your um, trail brush or pen um, tool you know, size up 50 amount. You can maybe change if you want to put that up even more. Um, so you got kind of like this flowy kind of like line going and you can go over this a couple times if you want to go over it a couple times. That first one I did was pretty good. But like I said, if you want to go over it a couple times, you can. And then I'm just going to blend it again. So playing a lot with blend modes here. I want to say color dodge was one that worked out really well. But, you know, again, these are really, you know, they all do something a little bit different. And so you may want to play with different ones and see which ones kind of really give you the best results. The overlay kind of is nice because it's very subtle, you know, but, um, you know, this is too subtle, darken, I, I would think, you know, but again, it's all personal preference really to see, you know, which color blend modes you think are working out best, um, depending on your choices of colors or your choices of types of lines and things like that. So that kind of looks pretty cool. Again, I kind of like the subtlety of it. Um, and so that's pretty much it for this, uh, this spacescape scene lesson. So hope you guys have fun getting creative with your own space scene.